When you're pressured, when you're stressed, you will not live to your full cap capability. Even the silly things cannot be done when you're under pressure. Stress has become an all-too-familiar companion in our fast-paced world. But have you ever wondered why stress happens and how it affects our well-being? Research shows that stress can have detrimental effects on both our physical and mental health. It affects our immune system, disrupts our sleep patterns, and hinders our ability to make clear decisions. Understanding how stress manifests in our lives and learning effective techniques to handle not only enhances our well-being but also improves our overall quality of life. In this video, Sadhguru gives insights on how to manage stress in your daily life. Stay tuned till the end of the video. Pressure and stress is happening because you do not know how to conduct your body, how to conduct your mind and how to conduct your emotions. This human mechanism, this is the most sophisticated gadget on the planet. Have you read the user's manual? If you deal with that, Outside situations are a play. To what extent can you play? You, maybe you cannot play like me, but you will play to the best of your capability and that's fine. You don't have to play like somebody else, but you must play to the best of your capability. If that doesn't get explored, when you're pressured, it will not get explored. When you're pressured, when you're stressed, you will not live to your full cap capability. Even the silly things cannot be done. When you're under pressure, if you're in a certain level of calmness and sweetness within you, your body and your intelligence will work at its best. So, this is about playing this life out. This is not about proving something to somebody. It is just that if you want to succeed, it's only success that ultimately everybody around you will respect. If you want to succeed, you must learn to harness your physical body and your mind the fullest possible way. So only two things. And of course, harnessing the external situations, but that harnessing the external situations essentially depend upon how well you can harness your own intelligence and your body. Now when you're… when you're creating pressure, on one level what it means is, you… your intelligence has turned against you. It's not working for you it is working against you. Nobody has to cause misery to you, you're on self-help. Only if you're happy, your body and mind will function at their best. If they function at their best, depending upon your in individual competence and the situations around us, how they play out. If your success is not just about your competence, there's also a situation. How all these things come together, that will lead to a certain level of success. So I'm saying the way you are is the first step. What you do is the next step, but everybody is trying to fix it the other way around and it'll never work. Sadhguru reminds us that stress and pressure arise when we lack the understanding of how to conduct our bodies, minds, and emotions. Our human mechanism is a sophisticated gadget and it's time we delve into its user's manual. It's essential to remember that the journey towards success is not solely about competence, but also about how we navigate the situations we encounter. By prioritizing our inner well-being and creating a harmonious balance within ourselves, we set the stage for holistic success. By understanding that our own intelligence and well-being are pivotal to our success, we free ourselves from the grip of stress. Take this wisdom to heart and embark on a journey of self-discovery where you learn to harness your inner intelligence and transform the way you handle stress. Subscribe to our channel and continue to explore the profound teachings of Sadhguru that can enrich every aspect of your life.